Citing the decline in COVID-19 SOP compliance of late, Health Minister Kairi Jamaluddin has warned that stricter enforcement could follow. Kairi said the government could enforce the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act 1988 again, which was the provision previously used to issue compounds before Malaysia entered the transition to endemic phase since April 1st if COVID-19 cases continue to rise rapidly. The health minister said the wearing of face masks indoors was among the areas where there had been a lack of compliance in the COVID-19 SOPs. Kyrie added that as of April 17th, the health ministry decided to stop issuing compound notices to those who had violated SOPs in line with the country's transition to endemicity. He said there was a 31% increase in COVID-19 cases in the past five days as compared with the week before, adding that the highly infectious BA5 Omicron subvariant could be the cause. However, Kyrie said the drop in the number of RT-PCR testing, which enables the ministry to conduct genome sequencing, meant that the actual number of infections involving the BA5 variant may be higher than recorded, adding that the ministry also expected an increase in new cases due to the Hari Raya Idil Adha celebration on Sunday. He advised the public to self-test, especially if they will be visiting relatives who are at high risk of being infected with COVID-19.